Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you a new math tool I recently discovered. Uh, it's found in Office 365's forms. So let's get started. Uh, you sign into Office 365 and click on the forms tile. Then click on new quiz. Now I should say right now that uh, this may not be the best way to evaluate students, but it serves as a great check-in um, to see where they're at and provide immediate feedback. You'll see that these quizzes are marked automatically. Uh, just a few questions can really tell you where a student is at. Okay, so let's just call this practice math quiz. Okay, let's start by adding a question. Now the math tool I'm going to show you now works for uh, different kinds of questions, but I'm going to stick to the multiple choice option because that seems to be the most, uh, most powerful uh, type of question. You'll see why in just a bit. Right, let's begin beginning grade four or five with fractions. So I'll write, I'll say solve. I'm going to click then on, that's the question, the prompt I'm giving students. Then I'm going to click on the three dots to the bottom right. I'm going to click math. Now, a subtitle area appears. It says enter an equation here. So let's, uh, let's try one over two plus two over three and click OK. Right, so you can see the correct answer was generated along with other incorrect answers, but that's what a multiple choice question will look like. So we're going to add all of them and we're done that question really simply. Um, that's what it looks like. So I can click on add new. The other great thing is at the bottom over here, so I'll scroll down. There are other possible question ideas. So I can click on whichever one of these I'd like. Let's try that one. And I can add that sort of question again with uh, more generated answers. And next question is done. You can very quickly make a four or five question check in for students and get immediate feedback. Students would get immediate feedback and you'd also be able to provide the same. All right, let's try a different type of math question. Uh, let's look at integers. I think that's grade seven. Um, multiple choice. I'll say solve again. It's remembered that I'm going to uh, be using the math tool. So here's my equation uh, box. And I'll say, um, so one plus in brackets, I'm going to put negative seven, let's say, I'm going to click OK. Same thing happens. Correct answer, other incorrect answers. I click add all and my question is done. Very good. If I click add new, I get more question ideas related to the previous question. So I can click on here. I can click add selected. And here I have a whole other question, again, related to the topic that I just covered. OK, so let's try another one. Did fractions, um, some integers here. Let's try a linear algebra problem. Uh, multiple choice, grade 8, grade 9. Let's say solve for the dreaded x. Okay, so one, let's say uh, one plus two x is equal to, let's say 14. Okay, just making this up, click okay, and here we are again. Correct answer, other possible answers, add all, and my question's done really fast. So add new, and you see again, I get question ideas just below. I can choose one of these add that and a whole other question is created with the correct answer all self-marked because this is a forms quiz great so it's, it'll be a lot easier then for you to give feedback and to go over solving each of these questions with your class okay last now i teach um, high school high school chemistry and we actually use a quadratic equation a bit so let me see i, I just discovered that this actually works so let's try all right so um, I don't really factor in my classes, but we'll see uh, how this how this works. Uh, factor the following. Okay, so two x squared plus seven x plus six. Okay, let's see what happens. All right, so we get a correct answer generated. We're going to add that in. Didn't generate other answers, right? 
um, it, it can often does depending on the question I think it's uh, easier or not um, but here we can quite easily make a, another possible solution All right so let's say 2x plus 1 okay and there we go still saving a lot of time um, come up with a whole bunch of other questions or possible um, solutions that would be then incorrect but see we made another factoring question in using this math tool right then share as you would normally click share you usually want to keep it within your people in your organization if you're sharing it with students copy that link and share it onto whatever platform you're using um, you can change your theme again and choose something appropriate let's let's say this one looks pretty good uh, you can preview it as a computer um, or a mobile device right for student accessibility you then can then click on this and it will read the question through the tool immersive reader okay click back and you're done hope this helps